Hey everybody, I'm at the Trenton Area Soup Kitchen here in Trenton, and uh, it's the day after Thanksgiving, and we're waiting for uh, Governor Corzine to arrive. We just served up an amazingly delicious lunchtime fare to a couple hundred diners. Um, but don't let the name fool you. Um, soup Kitchen is a lot more than that. Uh, there's a whole host of social services which are provided on site, and we'll get into all of those details later, but first, I'm going to go have a slice of pumpkin pie. One of the things we pride ourselves on is the fact that we don't just feed the hungry body, we feed the hungry mind, the whole person. What we do is we have not only two social workers here, we have an adult education program that has 85 students in it. We help people with the GED and right on up to uh, getting college courses. We're very proud that three of our students entered Mercer County Community College this past semester. To that pumpkin pie I mentioned a minute ago, it was actually sweet potato made by these folks and served up by local school kids here chatting with Governor Corzine. And the produce, Jersey Fresh of course, personally delivered by the Department of Agriculture. And while not all the clients of the Trenton area soup kitchen are homeless, a majority are. A lot of people don't know anybody who's homeless, you know what I mean? Or maybe... I've been homeless off and on since I was 26 years old and I'm 39. What happened? Like why? Like. Most people would never understand, like, how does that cycle begin? It, it, it begins by not listening to your parents. <laughs> it, 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 it starts by not listening to your parents. When your mother tells you don't do this, you don't do that, and you do it anyway, you wind up in places like this. <laughs> I actually have a large admiration for many of the people here to see what they go through every day and the obstacles they're able to overcome, and, and, and we just enjoy being with them. Since all the state workers were expected to report for duty today, Corzine couldn't exactly take the day off, so he chose to spend the afternoon highlighting food insecurity here in the state. Sometimes all it takes is a little TLC to break some bad cycles, which ultimately is the goal here. Really, our mission is more than just feeding the hungry, really helping people become self-sufficient so that they hopefully will not they come here anymore.